Okay, I am back. I am back. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Um, I think that, um, let me increase this tab. Okay, so I think that the roof drains and its clearances, I think, is where my last uh, um, look. Uh, looking at the interferences, I think, and everything seemed to be okay. Yeah, it looks, I think it looks okay. I should check it, though. But, yeah, you know what? Let's just, let me, let's check this. I'm going to highlight this and go to my um, collaborate tool. And let's just check for the interference. Let's turn just for the pipes that I checked. And let's check for the structure. I think it's just the framing. Let's see if there's anything. Okay, there's no interference. And for the for the mechanical, let's check the mechanical also. I think that it's gonna be okay. Duck duck fittings, equipment, accessories. It should be okay, right? Yeah, okay. And let's check for the overflow collaborate the uh, interferences and the same thing let's use only the pipes and structure let's see the foundation nope i don't want the foundation let's go back and get the framing of the structure right framing should be okay yeah okay and last but not least least of all it's gonna be the mechanical model let's just check everything flex duck i know there's no flex duck but just for the oh let's hold up hold up hold up let's go back okay should be no interference okay so let's get i want to get back to what i came here to do but of course everybody knows when you get into the office you always everything seems to be a check and recheck but what i want to do is let's put some more floor roof drains down okay so let's go and put a roof drain down here i think i did this but i want to i want to be clear and make sure that i can at least get through this this uh session with another set of floor drains, okay. Uh, let's go down, roof, I mean roof drains. Uh, let's do the sanitary, um, <laughs> let's do the storm drain. And we're gonna put that on a work plane here. And what I wanna do, because this is a storm drain, and this is a roof drain that's gonna uh, have the conductor uh, storm drain. To tie into this storm drain okay so i'm gonna look at the section view and i think that it might not be on the plane let's take a look so we're gonna have to change the plane uh i'm gonna erase this or just just not show that and what i need to do is show this view yeah see so what we're gonna need to do is change the reference plane so right now it's referencing at the actual uh, level but what I want it to do is reference the roof and to do that looks like Revit got me a little glitch here so I'm going to kind of put a reference here so that I can change one reference of this the reference that the roof drain is on to another reference that I want it on and it's gonna be the planter area let's see um, okay okay let's just call it that all right and what I'm gonna need to do is go back Let's see if I can do it in this view. Can I change 
edit the work plane and specify a new work plane and we I named it planner area and say okay yeah okay so that's what I wanted to do so looks like um, let's just go through this um, and that's gonna be my storm drain but let's check and make sure that every the pipe types and the system uh, type is okay that's a PVC storm drain so I'm changing that pipe type right and the system type is going to be a storm drain system okay so with that being said all I need to do now is connect into my the slope we're gonna slope that at an eighth of an inch okay and it looks like I'm gonna need to bring my um, storm drain down in order to fit that in okay so I'm gonna do that I know that there's gonna be some interference so I'm using my um, arrow key okay so I'm going to disregard. I think that that is a beam. Let's see if I can select my links. I can select it. And I'm going to hover over and tap. Right. To see what that is. And that is a wide flange beam. <laughs> um, let's look at the. I want to go to the section. And make sure that let's see if I can get in a little tighter to make sure that if that beam is in view that there's no uh, if it's out of view then making this uh, section view tighter will 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 show that there's no way for me to get around the beam because it's in view in the section view okay so let's go back and see if it's there. Yeah, so it's there. So I know that I'm going to go through this beam. Um, but for the sake of this, this exercise, what I want to do is show that the fixture units are, or the, the areas that the storm drains are collecting from is going to be shown in our text. Okay. So I'm going to not uh, think about the interference, which we should, and which should be corrected, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this beam is not there. And just to connect, make this connection with our um, detail lines. I'm just typing D, L. Uh, I think that I can go up a little bit. I'm going to go up just a little bit. Yeah. And DL again. And here, these are just construction lines so that I can connect or fit this pipe into this pipe using a fitting, right? So I'm going to modify this and extend one pipe to the other, extend this pipe into that pipe, and use my construction lines to align. So that I can get uh, a fitting that will not give me an error. I could eyeball it, but I could never get my eyeballs to work right when I'm trying to fit these guys. Okay. And usually this works for me. So I'm going to trim this out. Okay. And erase this construction line. I don't need that anymore and go to the second level let's go to first level is that gonna do anything uh, first level I'm gonna change this to hmm let's change it to a fine is that gonna give me double line yeah okay so um, that's at a slope I'm gonna drag one pipe and and fit yeah that's the fitting that I want okay so um, 
The reason I'm doing that is because let's go back and change this to a medium. And this is going to be the so the area of this section of storm drain is did I put that down? Okay, so it's 3660 of square feet. It says fixture units because Revit doesn't uh, Revit counts fixture units and not square footage um, for its uh, flow uh, configuration. Okay, and what I need to do this should be zero, right? Because I need to assign um, an area for that roof drain. Let's go back to the second level, and this roof drain needs needs um for me to specify well the the square footage uh that this roof drain is going to um cover and because there's another set here i'm gonna look, look at this view and look at a region or is it i think it's annotate yeah let's do annotate look at this region field region and Let's look at a rectangle and just kind of eyeball this. I think it's about right in here. Okay, and let's finish this edit mode. And it should give me, so it's giving me 730. Let's round it off, 730 square feet. Okay, so exit and then undo. And so 730, yes, I want to quit. And I'm going to sign. Um, 730 um, square foot of coverage for that roof drain. So when I go to the first floor and annotate this pipe, okay, let's look at 3630, which is fixture units, and 760 or 730. So it should add both of those up using this text, text by category. Okay, so 743.90. Let's do a uh, free end. So that when we look at the square footage, the documentation for this storm drain that goes out to the street or connect to civil right you would connect to civil um it's gonna be 43 4390 4, square feet so if i change let's say i change let's take a look at a tile so if i change uh the square footage of the floor of the roof drain let's say it's uh 1000 so it should be 4660 oh, is that right 4660 yeah yeah okay so it looks like everything is um is adding up in terms of the the square footage of storm drain that each roof drain is is covering okay um and let's see what are we doing on time Okay, that's not too bad. Um, uh, and but we know that I can't can't um, go through this beam. I don't want to go through this beam like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's look at hmm. That's the what's the best way of doing this? I think we're gonna let's erase this. And let's look at this guy. Um, let's go back. I'm just trying to get some. What's the best way to view this? This may not be the best way, but this is one way of doing it. Just to as a as a refresh. This is how you can look at uh, different views, especially a 3D view, right? So. We can see that the pipe is going through that beam, okay? 
So I'm going to go to my links and um, hide, let's say hide the structure. So because I want to take that off and reconnect using a fillet. Okay. And now I should get 3630 for my um, drainage. So I need to reroute this guy because it's not going to connect into that. So what's going what I'll need to do let's going to let's close <laughs> this guy and go to the second level. What I'm going to need to do is go straight down because there's no way I can connect because of the beam. And I can't um, I cannot um, connect. But what I'm going to have to do is go to that section again because I need to raise it up because it's interfering with the other beams now. Where am I? <laughs> um, here. Let's uh, uh, let's go back to the roof area, the second floor. Let's go here and section. Yeah. So I need to raise this up because I know it's interfering. Put it back, right? Because remember, in the beginning of the video. Um, there was no interference, and I, I know that once it went down into this area, there was some interference. Uh, so, let's go and rotate this guy, or the section view, okay? And stay here, center of rotation. And it can be down here if you want, you know, as, as long as you know that it's 90 degrees, 45, 270, or 180, or whatever it is. But I want to rotate that clockwise, 90 degrees. So that I can see what's going on um, with this section. And it is here. So I know that I'm going to need to draw a pipe at a slope of 1 8 inch and then down. Okay. Down and then out. Okay, now what I can do is just to make, to parallel the other piping, I can extend my view of that section to see, just to get a rough idea of where everything else is. And it looks like I can go up just a little bit. I just want to just make everything cool with each other, right? And here... Just kind of line it with my other um, drains. That's about good. Just eyeballing things. Okay. And which one is it? This one. This one. And it's this guy. So I can bring it down. So that's cool. I like that. Now. So when we go to first level. So that's our that's our um, second storm drain that's coming out, and it should say one thousand, I think. Yeah, one thousand fixture units, and let's put a, uh, some documentation on that guy or a text, okay? And it should say one thousand square feet at four inches, okay? And so, yeah. Now, that looks good. So, let's see if I can tab and let's coordinate that or collaborate with some kind of interference. One pipe, structure, framing, anything, no interference, that's cool. Uh, check it again. Let's run another interference for the mechanical that's linked into the model and duct duct fittings accessories okay 
okay, good. You know, just kind of makes just kind of eliminates a lot of the stuff before it goes into another class detection program, which is would be Navisworks, which is used often. Okay, um, so I think that I'm gonna stop here, and I will talk to you guys later.